where we're going now is the interview. Cha-ching, you got it, you did it, you won it, that's right, you got the interview. Your resume stood out, your connections got you in the door, and now you've got an interview. There are some things to keep in mind before you go into interview. So, number one, check out my blog on dressing for success. You always want to dress in clothes that make you feel more confident. You know, not, you know, I find a lot with my clients, especially my male clients who have baby blue eyes and somebody told them, you know what, this color makes your eyes pop, which is nice, but that's not what you're showing in the interview, is it? That's not your best asset, I hope. No, that is just a part of who you are. So in my blog, I say specifically about clothes and about why to wear particular clothes. But here it is in a nutshell, is you want to wear clothes that make you feel confident and support who you are. They really reflect who you are. Like I'm wearing orange because I love the color orange. I like it because it's vibrant and colorful. Not only does it show good on camera, but I feel good in it. The material's nice, it's not cheap. It just feels good. I like the satin on the side, it's all good. And so you wanna wear things that make you feel good. Now we can get to the meat of the matter and you've got the interview. You're going in, you have a time. You know, it's a, a no-brainer to get to the job on time. In fact, you want to get there 10 to 15 minutes earlier. Not a half hour, not an hour. If you're out in the parking lot waiting, that's fine. If you want to make sure you miss traffic, but you want to get there early. So that's number one. Number two, you better have done your research before the morning of the interview. So what are you going to research? Well, you want to know the organization. You want to know about their mission, vi vision, values, and strategies. You want to know why are they hiring, if at all possible. Why are they having a high turnover? You want to know as much about the company as you possibly can. Most importantly, why you are applying for the job. What is it that they offer that you want to be in with them for? You may not know the information you need from the website. So you could call and talk to the receptionist and ask them a few questions. If that's not inappropriate, you could call ahead and do that. But you might also notice when you're going through the website and you're looking about the organization and you know the name of the interviewer, you can actually start to create questions for your interview. Like, what do you want to ask them about the organization? So your research is not just for your information, but it's also so you can create questions that are applicable to you to make sure that it's aligned. What is the organization or company facing that would be helpful to know before going in your interview? Where is their growth? What are their growth expectancies? Is there room for promotion? You want to look and just Google the company and see if they have any recent news articles. Did somebody within the company publish an article? You would want to Google that. I mean, we're in an informational age, and so use information to help leverage you to where you want to go. And then you also might want to do a quick check on your social media pages, your LinkedIn, your Facebook, and just a shout out to people and ask them, do they have any insight about the company that you're going to interview for? If you feel comfortable asking that, certainly do so. I personally, I usually don't tell anybody what I'm doing before I go do it. <laughs> uh, it's rare that I will do something like that, but I do encourage you to leverage one or two people if they have some insight, leverage it. That is what they're there for.